morning and welcome back to my channel. This is Beth from Style at a Certain Age and if this is your first time visiting, welcome. I'm very happy to have any new users or readers or viewers, I guess are viewers over here, uh, and my uh, old uh, standby viewers as well. So today's Sunday, you've landed on a Sunday, I film twice a week. Sunday is always about style and Thursdays is just kind of what's uh, on my radar screen. I've been doing laundry hacks. I did. Uh, I do some beauty and entertaining. Just kind of whatever is going on in my life really reflects a Thursday. But Sunday, uh, today is my very first haul. I shared that with you on Thursday, and I've never done a haul before. Um, so you'll have to kind of guide me through it if I'm not exactly doing a haul video like it should be. But I um, have worn Talbots for years. Love Talbots. And I have quite a few items from their fall collection, which I really think is just, uh, they're just doing an amazing job. It's a, Talbots is a very classic store, but they really keep one eye on trends. And I really like how they interpret those trends. Okay, well, we're gonna get into it and I'm gonna share. So this is how I'll do it. So I'll just walk you through all of the items that I have for fall. And then I'll have, yes, some uh, outfit inspiration at the very end. Okay, so let's get going. If you've been following along on the blog, you've seen many of these pieces already in action. And I kind of have a mix up of some evening items and work items and a uh, little sweater uh, blazer that can go day and night and some accessories. So I'll just go through one by one and then I'll show you my outfits, okay? But I already am thinking about the holidays because <laughs> yeah, it's almost the, or actually it is, it's the middle of October. So holiday season is fast approaching. So I have this really cool sequin skirt and it's a little bit longer in back and it has a little slit in back too. And this is a beautiful length and it really, it um, skims your, uh, the bottom of your knee, which I think is a very flattering length on everybody. So holiday time, this is a wonderful work skirt and I've worn this already on, on the blog. And I really like, so it's just a faux side um, button here, uh, but it has a nice little vent which makes it easy to walk in. And then fringe. So they kind of updated this modern classic with a fringe at the bottom and then the cute brass buttons and then there's also fringe on the side. So this is just perfect for work. Love that. And I have been eyeing a leather skirt for a really, really long time. So this is the year that I added one into my a repertoire and uh, why I love this and why I think it's just a really cool modern interpretation is this really cool zipper on the side. So you can zip it down or zip it up depending on how much you, you want to uh, flash your uh, fellow workers. But this is actually it's really kind of cool for work. I wore this when I spoke at Boston University and I just really thought it was the perfect item. So leather skirt is finally in my collection. Uh, an accessory, these really cool, I mean I love pearls, it's my go-to gemstone. So this is a triple strand and has really kind of cool um, embellishment on the side with some crystals. Just a really nice statement necklace that really kind of punches up an outfit. And um, I guess Oscar was in here before, <laughs> before I started filming, so sorry there's a little bit of hair on here. But a uh, beautiful boat neck black sweater, but what they did is there's some little slits on the side and they and the sweaters embellished with pearls too which I, I think is a very cool modern take on a classic. Another classic of course is a white shirt and I'm always on the hunt for the perfect white shirt. This is very nice so uh, this has a very nice well I don't know what do I want to say the, the, the top button doesn't have a button so it has just a really nice drape here and it has beautiful the princess seams in the front in the back with the darks, really like that. And what's cool about this, and I've shown this actually before, is the uh, pleats on the sleeve. So statement sleeves are still very, very big. So this is the modern interpretation of the white shirt. I think they've done a really cool job with that. And it looks gorgeous underneath the sweater and then with the um, cuffs hanging out. Last of my clothing items is this very classic blazer, and this is very Chanel-esque. I think, um, I may have even have shown this to you before, but it's just part of my haul, so it's back out again. This looks great with jeans, and it looks great with uh, skirts, dresses, everything. Just a classic, but there again, they've come along, so it's four pockets, a little bit of fringe here, black and white, gorgeous color scheme. 
So a blazer. And then moving on, so I'll show you my shoes. I really like these black pumps. So these are suede black pumps. But what I like about these is the uh, little bow on the back. <laughs> and it just gives it just a little bit of a punch. It's not a very high heel. It's about a two and a half or two, two and a half inches. So not quite a stiletto, but I uh, really like that feature right there. If you like a little bit of a lower heel, so this is a hair calf shoe, and this has the traditional kitten heel. So a very comfortable heel height. Looks great with jeans. It also looks really good going to the office. And that actually has a matching clutch, which is great for evening. And as I said, the holidays are fast approaching. And it has a, you know, a couple of pockets on the side. So it's, it's, this is, some clutches are too tiny to carry much other than your keys and a lipstick and your, per, or your phone. But this actually you can get quite a bit in here. So I, I like that size. And last but not least is this gorgeous crock embossed statement handbag. Really like that. It's just very, uh, there again, it emulates many classics out there. So this will be, a, I mean, it's a statement bag. It has the little feet on the bottom, which I like. So when you put it down on a table, um, it can stand up, I don't know, upright. And then it has a nice little strap right there, but then it has the short straps too and then a, a little key right here. So that is my haul, and now you're gonna see how I interpret them day to day. First up is this gorgeous pencil skirt, and I mentioned that it hits right at the knee. Very flattering length for any, uh, any height. Uh, I just love that. And there aren't as many <laughs> this length out there as I would like, but this is perfect. Love this skirt because it also has a very high waist and a little ribbon trim at the end. So it will look just gorgeous with a, a very cropped jacket or a cropped sweater. I, right now I just have a very casual, or not casual, but a, I just have a blouse untucked. This is a little bit longer in the back. I'll link it up. This is a, a I can't remember if it's Michael Kors or Vince Camuto. I wore this at an event in New York just last week, but I have the hair cap clutch just gives it a little bit of a different texture to the sequins, very simple blouse, and the black pumps. I love a classic houndstooth pattern, and when it's interpreted with, you know, modern fringe and a little, you know, sassy little slit over here, I like it even more because it's traditional meets modern, keeps it fresh, I told you this would be the perfect skirt for work, and here I just have it with a little cashmere sweater and white shirt, but I popped, this is actually, this is from Bowden, so it's not part of my haul, but I'll link it up. So this is from Bowden. I just started actually shopping there after some of my readers had suggested I go over there, and they had some really fun color schemes, so I thought this was a really cute jacket into winter, and then um, I have uh, black pumps on, but this would be a very cute outfit with tights or boots, uh, but I did bring in a very ladylike structured handbag for my little out office outfit. So here's this fun little sweater, and actually it's a, it's a, it's a nice cotton weight, so it's still lightweight for fall, and if you are experiencing warmer temperatures like so many of us are, uh, but you can see the really cute detail here. So you have the embellishment of the pearls all up and down the sleeve and a little slit. Just keeps it nice and fresh, modern. The boat neck looks good on everybody. Love that. Uh, I threw it on, I actually wore this on the blog the other day. So I threw on my leather, my full leather trousers just to kind of toughen up this outfit because I have the pearls. So very classic, very understated pearls with something Kind of cool and edgy and that's really how I like to uh, spend my date night with Mr. Style. I know, I know, I have been in a black phase, definitely, but <laughs> you can interpret, you know, a monochromatic look any way you want to. Personally, black looks good with my hair color, but any monochromatic look is very, very slimming. Uh, but I just want to highlight this really cool leather skirt. I have it all the way zipped down and being a little bit conservative, have a turtleneck uh, with that cashmere turtleneck, but riding boots that kind of keep it very casual. I would wear this on the weekends, even though the skirt can go to the office. It's just great to dress up or dress down. So this is my dressed 
down monochromatic look with a belt. Does anyone else like a crisp white shirt and a pair of blue jeans for a very casual weekend look? Well, I do too. So this is my rendition uh, with the cool pleated sleeve. And this is my uh, new pair of uh, denim from Banana Republic. I liked it because of the very wide cuff that's very popular this uh, season. And it is uh, a faded denim, uh, which actually, and I've showed this before, so dark rinse jeans, slim you, and the lighter rinse kind of adds a few pounds, so you just have to kind of flow with that. Uh, but I have my slides on that I've been wearing nonstop, a very casual hobo bag, and I just kind of jazzed it up with a Lariat necklace. Weekend, here I am. What do you think? A few nice items, right? I stuck with a black and white color palette. I don't always do that, but I, I did that this fall. One thing that I do recommend and I like about shopping particular brands is they keep the same dye lot on hand year after year after year. So if I perhaps had maybe a pink that I purchased like five years ago, that pink is going to translate, if I picked up something new at Talbot's, that pink is going to translate very well to something that I purchased a few years ago. So that's one of the benefits of shopping a brand on an ongoing basis. And I, as you can see, uh, Talbus does a really great job of interpreting modern classic, which is perfect for this classic style gal. And let me know in the comments and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, if you'd like to see more hauls, maybe some suggestions on how to do a haul better. Uh, I'm still learning and figuring things out over here on YouTube. But I'm always happy that you stop by and thanks for all the love that you give me. And I will see you on Thursday, uh, which I, I kind of think I'm going to maybe actually give some beauty tips. But, uh, but before I go, uh, hit the subscribe button and come join the family over here. Thanks, and I'll see you Thursday. Bye-bye.